So today we have a special guest, my niece, Fredo. Hello. That's not really her name, but that's what we've always called her since she was a baby. So she will always be known as Fred. But she's going to be helping us out. We got a bunch of crap to get done. So, yeah. A while back, I watched a gardening documentary called Back to Eden. Um, it's with a man named Paul Gauchi. I think I'm saying that right. But um, anyway, he's a Christian gardener. And um, it was actually his beliefs that inspired him to garden the way that he does. And I mean, it's pretty cool. And I think it's going to work for our property. So yeah, we're going to give it a shot. One of the main reasons I want to give this method a shot is because I actually think that it's going to do well for us because of our soil. Um, our soil is like really thick clay, so there's not a lot that likes growing in it. I plan to put out a pretty big garden this year, so trying to rototill and trying to amend the soil for the entire garden would just be super expensive and yeah. So we decided that the Back to Eden gardening method might be a better way for us to go. And basically just what it is is it's trying to mimic the forest floor by having like layers of decomposing matter. Like in the woods you have things that are laying on the ground, you know, like the trees and the bark and the leaves and stuff like that. And basically what it's going to do is over time it's just going to continue to break down. And as it breaks down... It's just going to add more organic nutrients and stuff into um, the ground. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But instead of trying to, like, a lot of people will use um, compost. So, they'll put a layer, well, we're using a layer of cardboard. Um, you can use newspapers or whatever. And then other people will put um, compost on top of the cardboard or newspaper and then a big layer of mulch, which you see us doing here. Um, but we do not plan to do compost over the entire thing. Again, just because of the size of our garden, it would just cost effective, it would just be out the window. So what we plan to do is we will be amending each hole. So as I plant a tomato plant or whatever, um, I will amend that hole. I'll amend the hole that I'm bearing the plant in, but we will be doing mulch over the entire thing. This is definitely a long-term approach to gardening. This year, with the mulch that we're putting down, we won't get much more than, you know, well, a weed barrier. And, well, for us to keep our garden from drying out because I don't have water back there yet. But um, as the years goes on, all of this will break down and it will just give us a better topsoil and it'll have actual organic nutrients in it, so there won't be any need for rototillin and very little, if any, fertilizer. And there wasn't anybody rototillin or fertilizing back in the Garden of Eden, but yet everything still managed to grow. I just like how the faith is mixed in with this gardening method. How you doing over there? Wonderful. How about yourself? How you doing over there? I'm doing better than she is. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Oh. Come on, help me now. <laughs> oh. Taking so long. So oh, sorry. Mush. Mush. <laughs> my arm. I'm not gonna be able to feel my arms tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up and be like, oh my god, I can't lift them. Wait till you feel your back from moving the wheelbarrow. That's how I was the other day. Well, just know. Oh, and I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> this is a mess. You got more work to do tomorrow. It's okay. I'll be it's, here. It's heavier. I'm not. <laughs> Those rocks? <laughs> <laughs>
go. Fred's still muscling away, bringing the rest of the mulch in. I'm done. <laughs> so, are you coming back tomorrow? I'll be back. She'll be back. Stay tuned. She said so. It's on camera, so now you have to come yeah, back. It is. So if I wake up tomorrow, store is heck. Ugh. It doesn't matter. I got it on camera. It says you will be back tomorrow. It's too late to take it back. Yep. I'm going gunzo. Look at that. Oh, oh. So. <laughs> Not yet, it will be tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Hey boo. What? Uh, Miss Debbie on YouTube has been missing you because you haven't been in very many of the videos. 